everybody and welcome to a new festival guide. I'm going to talk about Dominated Festival today because it's not just one day anymore. It's actually a weekend now with an extra party day. So I'm excited to talk about this. Small disclaimer, I'm not going to be there the full weekend. It starts on Friday and Friday is the day I'm flying back uh, from Croatia from Drop Zone. Uh, so I, I just literally cannot make it. I hope to make it on Saturday if all flights go well but let's talk about the festival dominator is one of my favorite hardcore festivals and i'm happy to see them going a little bit bigger uh, obviously we can't talk about past years because there are no past years for the weekend but it is a art of dance and q dance event so i'm 100 percent sure the campsite is going to be good so you can still go for one day to dominator there's still saturday tickets but let's talk about the campsite first so the campsite opens at 12 on friday um, keep in mind that once you enter the campsite, you're not allowed to leave. Uh, for a lot of festivals, it is the case that you can leave. I think they're doing it because it's just a shorter festival. But on the other hand, it's still three days, so I don't really get why you wouldn't be able to like go to your car or whatever. But it says on the website that you're not allowed to leave, only allowed to leave through a special, special passage. I think they said a special passage uh, that goes to the festival grounds. So... Please bring everything from your car in one trip to the campsite because else you're that's not gonna work. So let's talk about your stay at the campsite. I'm assuming it's going to be a smaller campsite. I'm assuming the like pre-party and after parties will also be at the campsite. Uh, it's not. I don't think it's going to be like Defcon with seven campsites or intense with like these big friends camps. It's more. I think it's going to be more rebirth size. Uh, because obviously it's only like it's their first time and it's also like only one pre-party and not like three-day festival which is pretty cool I'm curious to see what what it will bring and if they're gonna grow from here there's an elaborate list of what you cannot bring to the festival on their website I'll link it down below they actually have a really good website with a ton of information where you can find literally anything you need to know so I'm going to list it down there and you can read through it I also put a little list here so you can but it's like it's like very obvious like no glass no scissors no uh knives stuff like that also you can bring pretty much everything when it comes to food like you're literally allowed to bring any food uh also you can bring like those throw away what do you call them disposable barbecues stuff like that so when it comes to drinks you can bring 4.5 liters and no alcohol above 14.5 percent and obviously no glass um so keep that in mind what i usually do is just bring i, I to defcon i brought the waifu thing link in bio for more information on that but it's like a meal in a bottle and i just wash them out and use them as water bottles too also i do have a general festival guide i'll leave that down below it has all information on what you need to pack and need to know about any festival i uh, also leave a packing list for both the day and the weekend down below too so you can check that out if you want to so obviously there's been no former editions of the campsite part of Dominator. So I can't really say anything about what the facilities were like and everything, uh, but I'm just assuming they will have charging points at the toilets and showers. And hopefully they didn't have this at Defcon, but those benches at, as well. Uh, I really like those where you can just like charge your phone in a bench, which is great. Um, also, obviously, there will be showers. I think they're open 24-7 or 24-3, I suppose. Um, and also toilets and everything you need. There's also an information point at the festival. So if you have any questions, you can go there. There's lockers on the campsite grounds as well. So if you have any valuables that you don't want to bring to the festival grounds with you, but you also don't want to put in your tent, a locker is a good option. Dominator starts with a pre-party, which is from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Uh, let me read through the lineup of that because it's just like one stage. It's like a small pre-party, which I kind of miss at some of these big festivals now. Um, it sounds really cool. Let me read through it. There's no timetables yet, but the lineups are all out. So let me go through that. Um, Miss Kate is playing Nosferatu, is doing a Millennium Hardcore set. We have Scarface, we have Base D, who's doing an early Hardcore set. We have the Player, Barber, and after the pre-party, there's a Silent Disco, which is... Like the after of the pre, I suppose. And then on Saturday, we obviously have the normal festival day. I'll go into that a little bit more later and talk about like all the special sets, the location, everything. But um, after the normal festival day, we have an after party, which is also a silent disco. I'm 
kind of assuming there's a separate stage for this after and pre-party, pre and after parties. Uh, I'm not sure though. I'm trying to sit like comfortably, but my knees hurt so much from that gone. Like all the walking, I'm getting old. Oh, by the way, I need to show you this. Like I didn't show you yet, but I got a new tattoo. I'm in fucking love. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> <laughs> look how tired I still look from from Defcon. Oh my god. Okay, let's talk about the festival. I'm I'm so excited to be back. I love Dominator. Dominator is one of my favorite hardcore festivals. It's a full hardcore festival. I think it's six hardcore stages, one raw cell stage. Uh, it's really really good. The location is gorgeous. Keep in mind, it's on a beach, which is I mean my favorite festivals are either like forests in the dark. Vibes festivals like Ground Zero or like beachy festivals where we can dance on the beach and maybe swim if the weather is good enough. But keep in mind it's sandy and like so wear good shoes and also don't wear stuff that you don't want to get dirty. I mean that's always the case I suppose with festivals but at the beach very much well. I remember like being able to draw lines in my arm because there was just a layer of sand and sun cream on my arm in 2019. So that's that's what it is with beach festivals. Uh, but the vibes are always so good. Uh, they used to have the raw stage in the water. Uh, they didn't have that back in 2019, which I kind of thought it was a shame. I love the stage in the water. So I hope to see one of the stages back in the water. I don't really care which stage it is. <laughs> it just looks really cool. When it comes to travel, it's actually very well doable. I'm going by car, but there's like a whole list on the website about buses from different countries, like travel options from different countries. So I'll leave that link down below. So if you're not from the Netherlands, you can have a look there at what the possibilities are. There are seven stages at Dominator and the names are always really good at Art of Dance parties. Uh, Masters of Hardcore, they do this, do this too. Um, but I'll put the names here so you can read them. And I'm also really excited to see what the stages look like because it always looks amazing at Dominator. It has this really, it's not like a fantasy festival vibe. It's like an actual really hardcore vibe. Like there's always these bikes uh, driving around, like doing stunts and everything. Everything is very like rough, raw and hardcore, which is really, really cool. Especially at the beach, the whole vibes just fit very well together. So I have high expectations. I remember the main stage being absolutely massive at 2019, in 2019. Um, so yeah, high expectations when it comes to the stages. Obviously, Dominator is one of our big festivals in the Netherlands and big festival means the artists are bringing something new and exciting usually. So I'm also really curious to see about the set. There are seven stages, uh, which means it is, it's pretty big. Um, I would always advise to go on a little adventure, have a look at the grounds, look at what there's to do. There's always like activities, uh, as I said, there's like stunts going on and cool stuff. Also go see some artists you don't know yet, or maybe you haven't been to a set of yet. Exploring new music, but also like running into new people and like making new friends. It's one of the amazing things about festivals. And I get so excited when I see like a new artist or maybe it's like not a new artist at all, but someone I didn't know of yet um, play a cool set. I was like, ah, oh, I need to listen to his or hers music. Like that's, that's the cool stuff. Um, but let's talk about some of the special sets going on. So there's no timetable yet as I'm making this. Uh, once there is, I'll link it down below. Uh, but you can always use Epic, which is my favorite app to make these timetables. That's A-P-P-I-C. I'll write it down here. I got questions last time. I make my timetables there. It's really nice and easy and you get a notification 15 minutes before a set starts. So I just note all the, I just tap all the sets I want to see. And then I get notifications and then I can decide where to go. I never, I never keep to my plans. I never stick to them. I never stick to my plans. Uh, but it does make filming these a little bit easier too, because I can just like tap these sets. I really need to vlog at, and then I'll get a notification without forgetting about them. So I went through the lineup and I wrote down some of the showcases and stuff they have going on right now. Maybe once we see the timetable more will be added, but for now it's Miss Kate with her Eclipse album showcase. We have Nosferatu with an album showcase. Unexist presents Attack. Crypsis classic statement. That's going to be interesting, I think. Uh, the player presents Walking the Line. Um, 
so that's it for now. Uh, but as I said, I do expect artists to bring uh, like new music and something extra to Dominator. So let's talk about the facilities at Dominator. In my experience, it's really good. There's always free water. I don't remember if it was Dominator where the water was like they were out of water from the like free water points at some point. I remember something like that, but there is free water and there's lockers. There's from my experience, always enough toilets at Dominator. So everything you need is there. Uh, they also have information points. Unity will be there for any information about like uh, drugs, uh, alcohol and safe use. There's also, of course, always first aid. And remember what I said last time, like if you need first aid, if there's anything going on, please go there and please tell them everything you did. Like they're not there to judge you, they're there to help you. So please, if there's anything going wrong with you or with a friend, just be honest and make use of the fact that they're there. Also, I'm assuming of course there will be a merch stand and also a place to buy hearing protection. It's cheaper to just buy hearing protection upfront, like if you have them. I have hearing protection that is custom, which is more expensive, but with the amount I'm going to festival, that's my best option. Please wear hearing protection. I can already see the comments coming like, oh no, it's not cool to wear hearing protection. Let me say this. At 80 decibel, you can get hearing damage that's permanent. Um, sometimes it can go away, but usually it doesn't. And that beep that you hear after festival, that could stay forever, like never go away. Festivals are allowed to go up to 103 and we all know they sometimes go above it. So please protect your ears and protect yourself. Just be careful in general, like protection is a good thing. So what do you wear to Dominator? Honestly, I don't give a shit what you wear. Like wear whatever you are comfortable in, but uh, keep an eye on the weather. As I said, usually it's pretty hot during Dominator and the evenings can get quite cold in the Netherlands. So bring something warm, even if it's a hot day. Uh, bring some funky sunglasses if you want to. These are from Festival Supply. I'm in love with these, even though I can't see shit through them because I have normal glasses. Um, but use code Elena to get 10% off. Uh, same goes for the coin keeper and the party dog, by the way. They have new colors. Look how cute these are. I love them. And the coin keeper comes in handy at these festivals as well. You can put your tokens in. Um, so that's an extra tip to get some gadgets from Festival Supply. Code Elena and they have pretty much everything you need. They also have a lot for weekenders, by the way, for campsite stuff. So check them out. But yeah, as I said, wear whatever you're comfortable in, wear whatever you want to. It is a hardcore party, so probably a lot of people are going to be in Australians or something similar or 100% hardcore. Uh, as I said, I also assume there's going to be merch. So if you want to buy anything that's like Dominator related, just do that. But um, yeah, keep in mind, sandy, hot, can get cold, can get stormy. Be comfortable. That's my advice. Good shoes and maybe dry socks. That's uh, always a good idea. So that's everything I have to say about Dominator. Please check the description for more information. I'll leave all links down below. I'll also leave the general festival guide below. Obviously my discount codes for Y food, for uh, Easy Toys, doesn't stick right now. And of course, festival supply are down below too. I think the most important thing is to just enjoy yourself. I hope these tips are helpful, but just go explore, just make some new friends and uh, yeah, try to find some new music and some new stuff. Like it's always really exciting these weekenders and Dominator itself, it's just a really good festival. So I'm excited to see them go a little bit bigger and I'm curious to see where they will take it from here. Anyways, I'll see you guys at Dominator on Saturday. I just want to say, don't hesitate to say hi. I got, I saw so, 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 so many of you at DEFCON. It was amazing, but I also got some DMs that like said, oh, I saw you walking around, didn't dare to say hi. You can always, you can always say hi to me. And I don't always have the time to like take a picture or have a talk if I have to be at a certain set at a certain time or something. But I, if I do have the time, I will always, always take the time. And I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. We're at 15K now here on YouTube and the last few weeks are they've just been absolutely insane so thank you so fucking much for that anyways i'll see you at dominator i'm going to drop some first uh four vlogs coming from that by the time this video is up all my defcon content will be up so check it out if you haven't yet and subscribe like and subscribe
I'll see you soon.